Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we'll be going over the list of formulas for physics form 5 SPM and I hope that this video can help you. So the first one involves the displacement distance graph. So I'm just drawing a graph to give you a better idea. But the first formula is that amplitude equals to x over 2. And after this, you'll see what I mean by x. So x is the distance from one peak to the bottom of the peak. So that is x. And the formula is amplitude equals to x over 2. Amplitude means the maximum displacement from mean position. So from the center. So that is why you need to take x and divide it by 2. And then we have the second formula which is f equals to 1 over t. f refers to frequency and t is the time taken for one complete oscillation. And then we have number 3, v equals to f lambda. v refers to velocity, f is frequency and lambda is wavelength. Number 4, I'm drawing some lines to represent crest. So the lines represent crest and the space in between represents the trolls. And here you can see that I labeled it 4.5 meter. So the way to find lambda is you must use the total line divided by the space in between the lines. Not the lines but the space in between the lines. So as you can see, I numbered the space in between 1, 2, 3. So 4.5 divided by 3 and your lambda will be 1.5 meter. Number 5, V1 over V2 equals to lambda 1 over lambda 2. V is velocity and lambda is wavelength. And this formula is actually derived from the third formula that I gave you which is V equals to F lambda. And the theory is that when light refracts, frequency will remain the same. This is why we can derive the formula from there. So from the third formula, V equals to F lambda, we are going to make F the subject. So we will get a new formula which is F equals to V over lambda. And this is why we have the fifth formula which is V1 over V2 equals to lambda 1 over lambda 2. Number 6, N equals to sine I over sine R is something from form 4 also. I is the angle of incidence and R is the angle of refraction. Number 7 is a rather important formula, lambda equals to AX over D. And again, I'm drawing a diagram to give you a better idea of how to use this formula. And I'm labeling A, D and X at all the appropriate places. It is important to know the meaning of A, D and X. So, a stands for the separation of double slit or the distance between two light sources and X refers to the fringe separation meaning the distance between two bright fringes or two dark fringes and then D refers to the distance of the screen from the double slit. Number 8, D equals to VT over 2. D refers to distance, V is velocity and T is time. And this formula is often used to determine the depth of the seabed. Number 9, Q equals to IT. Q refers to charge, I refers to current and T refers to time. And then number 10, Q equals to NE. So N refers to the number of electrons, while E is the charge of electrons, which is 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 coulomb. Number 11, V equals to W over Q. V refers to the potential difference. W refers to work done and Q refers to the charge. Number 12, 
r equals to v over i or v equals to i r you can remember this formula better and you can use this triangle to remember it as well and r refers to resistance v is potential difference and i is current Number 13 is for series circuit. Actually, number 13 to 15 is all on series circuit. So, formula number 13 is that I equals to I1 equals to I2 equals to I3. Current is the same at all points throughout the circuit. And then number 14 is still on the series circuit. V equals to V1 plus V2 plus V3. The total potential difference of the circuit is the sum of all individual potential difference. Number 15, R equals to R1 plus R2 plus R3. The total resistance in that circuit is the sum of all individual resistance. Number 16 is for parallel circuit. Actually, from number 16 to 18 will be on parallel circuit. 16 V equals to V1 equals to V2 equals to V3. And the potential difference is the same at all points in the circuit. And then we have number 17 I equals to I1 plus I2 plus I3. The current is the sum of all the currents in the circuit. Number 18, 1 over R equals to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. And this is simply the formula to find resistance in a parallel circuit. Number 19, E equals to I bracket R plus R. E refers to EMF, I for current, R is for resistance, and small letter R is for internal resistance. Number 20, E equals to V plus I R. V is the potential difference. I refers to current and small letter R refers to the internal resistance. Number 21, E equals to V I T. And this is actually derived from E equals to V Q and Q equals to I T. When you sub Q equals to I T into E equals to V Q, you should be able to get this formula which is E equals to V I T. Number 22, E equals to I square RT, I is current, R is resistance, and T is time. Number 23, E equals to V square T over R. Number 24, P equals to E over T. P refers to power, E is energy released, and T is time. Number 25, P equals to VI, P is still power, V is potential difference, and I is current. Number 26 is the formula to calculate efficiency, and the formula is power output divided by power input times 100%. The efficiency will always be lesser than 100% because there is energy lost. Number 27, I'm drawing a graph to make you understand this formula better. So I'm labeling VP and VRMS. And the formula is VRMS equals to 1 over square root 2 VP. VRMS refers to the effective value while VP refers to the peak value. Number 28, similarly, IRMS equals to 1 over square root 2 IP. Number 29 is on transformers. VS over VP equals to NS over NP. VS refers to voltage in the secondary coil and it goes the same for VP. And then NS refers to the number of turns in the secondary and primary coils.
Number 30, in an ideal transformer, power is always 100% because no energy is lost. So Vs times Is equals to Vp times Ip. And there's a new formula derived from this. And it is Vs over Vp equals to Ip over Is. Number 31 is a formula for the cathode ray tube where electron is accelerated across the tube from the negative cathode to positive anode. And to calculate the kinetic energy of electrons, we can use the formula 1 over 2 mv square. And from there, we can get a new formula which is Ev equals to 1 over 2 mv square. Number 32, we have the transistor that's C, B, and E. And the formula for this is that IE is equals to IB plus IC. Number 33 is not really a formula, but I decided to include this because it is quite important. So we have this equation. And you must always remember that the proton number and nuclear number will always remain the same. So let's say you are asked to find A. So the way to find A is you are going to use 232 minus 4. And your answer would be 228. And if you are asked to find Z, 90 minus 2, your answer will be 88. The proton number and nuclear number always remains the same. Number 34, the last one, E equals to mc square. E refers to the energy in joule. M is the mass defect in kilogram. And C is the speed of light, which is always at 3 times 10 to the power of 8 ms negative 1. The way to find mass defect is you have to take the mass of reactants minus the mass of products. So that was the list of formulas for physics from 5 SPM. A lot of you guys have been requesting for this video after I did the form 4 one. So I hope that this video was useful. Remember to give this video a like. And remember to subscribe down below if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.